Hey guys, today we're checking out an awesome piece of equipment and I don't think too many people know about these. I sure didn't hear anything, I just kind of stumbled upon it and um, this is the Expert Electronics PX2 Connect DSP Digital Processor Crossover and Equalizer. Basically it's like a little computer control system for your whole audio system and it can handle multiple amplifiers and basically do everything you need. This has no high low input converters or anything like that so you do need preamps but um, this has a lot of features. Um, also the manual is in Portuguese so it's not even available in English. Stay tuned at the end of the video I went ahead and translated the manual to make it easier for y'all. Um, I also checked out a similar piece of equipment that Stetson makes and I did a review on that if you want to check it out. Um, after messing with them both, the Expert Electronics is a little bit better in my opinion. It has more options and the Equalizer is a lot more um, extensive. The Stetson has kind of a simple, pretty simple um, EQ this has a crazy EQ which on the input it has like a 28 band EQ on the input side which it doesn't really matter if it's on the input or out so basically you have that 28 band fully adjustable EQ on the input and that has about six channels on the sub level so it gives you a lot of subwoofer adjustability and this has a exact specific three band EQ on each of the six channels. So for each of these six channels, and basically these are going to be amplifier outputs, you can pick three exact frequencies from 20 to 20,000 and then you can adjust the gain on those and the Q. And the Q is another sound setting um, so that it just even further changes the sound. So you can really tweak your sound and kind of tailor it and add a lot and it's it's really cool device this one also has an app that you can hook to Bluetooth via your phone and the app works really well it's simple to use it's fast it doesn't lag because it uses Bluetooth so it's really precise and that is an awesome feature because you're not you know trying to adjust stuff with your you know in your in the back of your car you want to adjust it when you're sitting in the front seat because that's you know really what you care about so let's just go through the options here um, you have your input you got a 12 volt ground the remote coming in from your deck and then the remote out so this the remote out is what you would go to your amps with because basically this is going to control turning on um, your amps it has a straight through output so there's the two ins left and right and there's two outs that's if like you just want a straight out that doesn't use this processor for some reason to go to something else then you have six single rca inputs so like if you're using full bridge amps then you can actually run six amps but if you have like a full range amp with a conventional left and right input this has the option where you can make channel six and five basically control an amp and have it be a left and right signal whereas if like if you have a mono bridge sub amp then you can just use channel one for that so it gives you the flexibility to um, change the left and right options for all these inputs if you wanted them to be all right outputs you can do that if you wanted them to be all left if you wanted you know six and five to be left and right so that gives you a lot of adjustability let's go through the menu here real quick so you turn the job, there's the EQ in I was talking about. Um, so you got your frequency at 40 hertz and you got your gain and then it goes up. And this is the 20 band, 28 band EQ that's built in, that's preset. So it's at 50 hertz, you can change the, the gain and it's going up to 63, 80, 100 hertz, 125, 160. I'm gonna shut up now, you can see what's going on. I just want you guys to see all the features this thing has on it. So that's a lot of EQ right there. That's way better than the 7 or 9 band 
regular car audios uh, EQs that you get. Okay, so that was the input EQ, and you press escape to go back, and we're really far in, so it takes a couple presses of the escape. Um, I'm not going to get into all of it, but I'll explain it. It has a bitch and crossover section in here where it has multiple types and designs of crossovers with different slopes. So you can have a sharp cutoff crossover that like if you sub if you want your subs to stop at 30 hertz and not go below that, you can have like a normal roll off, 12 decibel roll off where it's still going to you know put some of the 20 hertz in, it's just going to be quieter or you can straight up cut it off at 30. And then same with the highs, you know, if you want to cut your sub off at 80 hertz, but you want a little bit, you know, to taper down so it's you're still here in the 90 and 100 and 120, you can do that. Or if you just want to straight up cut it off at 80, you can do that. Um, and that really is a valuable option because it changes the sound a lot too. Like if you just want to straight up cut off a subwoofer at a frequency or make it smooth. Um, it has a limiter. So let's say you have 20 subwoofers in your car in your crazy system and you don't want your 16 year old daughter going down to the gas station blowing your subs you can set a limiter on there to where um, it has a max, max volume level to where you can't go over so again I'm not going to go through all that all the settings but so it's got the, cro ex the crossovers built in the limiter the main gain and then you can also adjust the output gain to each of the channels um, polarity and phase so if you want to run you know like a left and right um, sub or something and you want a 180 off from each other you can do that it has delay I don't know I'm not sure what we'd use that for but like if you wanted to try to match like the sound stage or something by adding delay pink noise honestly I haven't got into that yet so we'll have to read the manual it has a password if you want to protect it um, then you can like copy settings back and forth that's the routing where I told you you can make channel 1 left and channel 2 right or output left and right on that single channel um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and check out the app right here so the app I like it because it's there's no bullshit it's straightforward it's fast it works well so that's the device. This is the password, like that's when it, when it asks you password. And the default is four zeros. Okay, so this is your nice clean um, screen that you have on the app. So it's real easy, you got your crossover. And this is what I was telling you about with the crossovers okay check this out so you can you can see the frequency graph which is awesome so I have it off right there these are all the different crossovers you got look and they're all different time different types so you can select the frequency that you want your low pass or your high pass and then you have like 15 different crossover options and then you have that on the low pass as well and then with each channel you can do that with all six channels. Each channel has the same has these settings, but you don't have to use just one settings. Um, then there's the EQ. This is the exact three band EQ per channel. So this is what's bitching. If you want to go, see, I have that one set at 40. You can slide it up and down real easy with the app. You want to raise it. You want to lower it. But check this out. So it's at 40, you can go, it's infinitely adjustable, 38 hertz, 37, 34, 33. And it goes all the way from zero to 20,000. So that's pretty awesome having that level of control. Um, and again, you, your delay, there's your EQ in that I was telling you about, the 28 band. And that's a pretty good EQ in, just in itself. So you got 31 hertz, 40 hertz, 52 um, 63, 80, 100, 125, and it has a bypass button. So if you want to hear what it compares with your settings or bypass it, you can just press bypass. So, um, so that's the app. It works real well. Um, 
this thing's like 110 bucks 120 bucks and it is so worth it just for that crossover section and the graphic equalizer that's worth 110 bucks right there because you can tweak your system and tailor it so much with this thing um, you don't need big uh, power for this thing like it doesn't take much power so you can just use real small wires and tap off your amp um, or your cap or whatever you got back there um, it's about nine inches by six inches by about one inch high but definitely check this out guys I mean I think it's a real game changer for just adding tweakability to your system especially for guys that don't have an aftermarket deck so they're using like maybe a factory radio and they don't have a, an EQ or you know they're stuck with just like a ba one bass in treble this gives you so much adjustability and the crossovers on here work amazing that gives you a lot of control um, on what your subs are doing and I haven't even got into the mid and tweeter section of it so I give it an A plus I like this one better than the tear amps and the um, Stetsum it ha just has more features and it's more adjustable and it has the Bluetooth app which is awesome and none of the other ones have it so you can be driving around and tweak your settings and not have to be you know crawling in the back or and trying to adjust it and then driving around and then crawling in the back again so that and right there is worth it so hope you enjoyed the vid um, like I said stay tuned the manual is going to be translated in English for you guys and I hope that helps take it easy